2020. Tizian going to be holding on to the ramp and already Ooh. he gets taken down by Rez. Now Keto back of the site hidden here. Does dispatch of the first man follow up from Tabson. And now this uh, this push from NIP slows right down while they try and confine the damage. They try and deal with it, but instead they're just getting dealt a pretty rough hand. That bomb gets dropped as well. So even though they've fallen back, they actually have to go back up the ramp now to retrieve the bomb. And with Searson wrapping in through the back line, he should have this one dead to right. He takes them both nice. down and Big get the pistol in the bag. Oh, Tabson, he really sets Keto up for success there as well. Hiding in the back pillar of the site. Tabson drops that Tetris smoke that lands on the rail. That cuts NIP off from walking on the back. They've got to enter through the middle of the site and essentially just walk into a crossfire of Tabson at Jens and Keto at back site. So yeah, it keeps NIP back. It makes them hesitate. And in all the meanwhile, Big uh, are on that immediate flank down the bottom of B. Searson with two to finish and Big find the pistol. Frankie mentioned pace and well, that was a quick one for NIP, but let's see if that continues. We've got a scout out for Nork and the Deagles as well. Harry, Nork was impressive to say the very least in that game against OG Scout. Orp doesn't really matter. And so I've got my eyes on him in this round. Well, I kind of hope you're right, Hugo. I kind of hope you're right. I want that to con- Ooh. Uh... <laughs> well. I was going to say, one man who we did see struggling a bit was Twist, and- Nice shot, at least. Yeah, you know, like, him and Hampus haven't had the best working relationship since she joined the team, but, uh, hey, it happens. It happens, you know. So Hampus is already gone. Now Twist is, like, looking to kind of- <laughs> Try to apologize by getting a kill over here. Right, guys, can we restart the round? Yeah. Uh, technical issue. Technical issue. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. His left click was stuck down, to be fair. But uh, Hugo, mate, we got this We got this little ramp push coming in from NIP. They're creeping up. They've even got Twist, the, uh, the team killer in their midst. He's coming in as well. Tizian over here at short side, and Zentara's back in the bomb site. There's a quick rotate available from Tabson. So this push is not going to be easy to say the very least. NIP, that's a nice bit of nade damage there from old mate Twist. There's the response, and it's even grosser in return from Big. <laughs> it's very, very slow as these smokes are still going down, and that there could cause some problems. It's into the prying eyes of, oh, it's another team kill. NIP, are you what? guys just gonna do all the work for Big? Like, they've killed two of their own players in this round. <laughs> Oh, there's like the idea that like, you know, I, I don't even know what animal it is, like a wolf will like chew its leg off if it's in a trap or whatever, but NIP, they weren't even trapped in there. They're just they're just chewing bits off regardless because it tastes good. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to make of that one. Uh, that's a great start for Big, but maybe a gifted on a platter. NIP, they're going to have to take an eco, take a breather. Chill out and spawn for a second. Go full existence and, and figure out what the hell's going wrong with these teams. I'd love to know what Threat is saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, is it obviously not the most ideal of starts here, but it's all good. It's round one. Uh, or round two, rather. Can't actually count. Numbers never were my strong point. Centara's down here. Numbers certainly are his, as he's looking to put up some on this round play. Yeah, Big taking a little more control here than the previous round. They sat back in the site against NIP on that Deagle round, but now they want to at least fight from a range and they're going to be able to do so. NIP just holding back very passive. Rez with the P250, really relying on someone like Hampus here with this Deagle. The one on this T side, Santaris with a cheeky little angle. Did he spot Hampus very close? He did. He's going to move back, not wanting to risk his life. Flashback in, doesn't do a thing. And Hampus with a quick shot. Nice trade from Tizzy, and he's got a dig of his own. We know what Big can do with these weapons. And uh, now he is on his own, needing support. NIP have grouped up fully towards the top of the ramp. Tizzy is trying to scavenge that gun, take it out of the prying hands of these Swedes. And he'll do that successfully. Spotting Twist crossing, but... No need to overplay your hand. We've got a flank in as well. Notice Searson, he pushed B, uh, pushed A rather, and flanked B on the pistol. He's doing the inverse here in the third, but it might need to come in sooner. Nork and Plopsky finding some digs on their enemies for a change. And here's that flank. Searson getting two, bomb planted. NIP, good luck getting out of this one alive. Yeah, smoke goes down on the bomb. Plopsky with no armor, mopped up by Searson. They're going to get that third round locked on in. So they, you know, they momentarily find themselves in a two on four, but they get it back under control thanks to that wrap round from Searson. I will say it's been kind of interesting, right? Because like in that big Sprout matchup on day one, uh, Big obviously got defeated in it. Uh, it seems like there's still a bit of a problem for, for a man like Keto, who's had two of his worst performances uh, for the big squad when facing his old team. So, 
you know, we often see that, right? We often see that in like those rivalry matchups where you're kind of familiar with each other, it can like make or break the uh, the performance you give. Well, we got the fan cams back on. So let's um, let's evaluate the guy in the middle, shall we? <laughs> I, I think I need to forget that. I'm probably going to revisit that again tonight in my dreams. Ooh, liked it that much, Frankie. Rez down here, getting naded out. And it's an immediate slowdown from NIP. They were, they were going to try and go fast up ramp, but the smokes have gone in. They have players out into middle. Keto's pushed down B ramp in the meantime. Searson, though, here with the AWP, and that's scary in my eyes. He gets one, but just as he started to go a little bit deeper, that's when he gets peaked. It does get dealt with. Now Hampus down here towards the B site. Tabson, the uh, man who was over towards B, has actually rotated away, uh, leaving Keto to hold ramp solo. Now he gets spotted and dealt with by Hampus. That trade potential just isn't there with Tabson having to take up the responsibility of middle. Now he goes back into B. And right now, NIP in a two on three, like this doesn't look like a great situation, but you know that you've got big, kind of a bit paranoid, having to shift this defense up. And so I'm hoping NIP just, just try and group back up and play into this round now in this two on three together. Yeah, good spacing in middle from NIP, right? Searson was a little wide and therefore wasn't able to take a shot and back off as he would have liked. Hampers as well, great patience on that B hold. He doesn't try and chase down Keto. He knows Keto gets a little bit worried and strafes out wide. Molly onto Tizzy and needs to peek with it before he escapes, but loses his life in the process. That leaves Nork alone and coming up A with 25 seconds left. Big still have two on this site and they're going to be moving towards short as well. So Nork... Not an easy round to come alive in. He's got to clear that close play as Antares eyes peel to his monitor. He's going to get traded, and that's going to be big finding a fourth round here. Tizian with three. Nice stuff from him. And NIP, they've still got the money, right? They can still buy back in. Uh, maybe we'll see a, a faster change of pace. They did get the control up A ramp this time. The risk, obviously, with, with running up A is, is what we saw Searson almost succeed in doing, which is taking that fast port peak on the shelf side. It's very, uh, very careful with that one. NIP flashed him off. We'll see if that's going to be the same today. Well, AWP out in the hands of Nork, and he's taken that with him over here towards a ramp. Now, Keto and Searson both donning AWPs here for big. Keto's got his over in the B bomb site. I actually love having an AWP here. I think he can get away with doing so much, right? Like, especially if these if these kind of dry ramp fights are given over to you. I feel like the AWP is great at just getting this kill, disengaging, and then playing as they as, as they continue trying to go for the trade. Because like you imagine, you're Plopsky. Well, now you know the AWP's there. You can't exactly go barreling up those stairs to try and get the trade kill. You kind of have no choice but to fall on back. And so that, that kill's untradeable. We're into a three on five. And this is still looking really good for Big. Like, there's no way of, uh, there's no way of shaking up that storyline to anything no. but. We're seeing this close smoke be used as well. I think at the start of Vertigo, teams would often use that smoke and not really know how to play around it. They'd be fighting against, like you can see, Nork has almost a one-way fighting below this smoke. They'd be fighting close on the CT side, but we've seen teams start to use it correctly, right? Ramp is a very wide choke point, or not even a choke point. You can't smoke it off from the top. And so that's basically the equivalent. NIP don't want to swing wide when that smoke's down because their feet uh, is going to be seen. You can see Tizian is playing that perfectly. He's going to move in with a flashbang Aggressive stuff. Big don't wait. And Nork, he will trade. Flashed out by Searson's utility, but still stuck in a two on four. And look at the time again. Oh, nice shot from Nork with the follow up. Two now, but 10 seconds left. And that's what's going to plague the AWP here. Second AWP back in CT, chiming in with a few shots. And it's the wrap from Short. Uh. Nork, he's got to wait briefly, but yeah, not going to survive that journey. It's 5 and 0 oh for Big. Big have just had such an interesting storyline this year, though, Hugo, right? We got to cast them in, uh, in in that grand final as well for the DreamHack Masters Spring, and it was a treat to watch there. They were able to complete that, that reverse sweep to take the whole event, uh, which was just mind-blowing. And that was actually the event that qualified them to ESL 1 Cologne in the first place. They needed just. to win it, and, and they do, and now they're here. So they've been on this great rise, and I think, you know, if you put Big in Cologne, you think back to the memories of 2018, that heartbreaking loss in the grand finals to Na'Vi, this is an event that's going to mean a hell of a lot to them. Even though it's online, right, this is still one that's going to carry so much weight to those big boys on our screens. And I'm liking that we're seeing them make a very good impression out of the gate here versus NIP. 
Yeah, keep in mind, this is an elimination match as well, a lower bracket game for Group A. So, yeah, to, you know, either we don't have the Germans continuing in Cologne or the Swedes, the Ninjas in Pajamas, an org famed with events like these are going to be gone on just day three. Neither of those sounds good. I don't like either option, but uh, unfortunately, we have to have one. MIP, this is a bit of a slow start. Slow walk up the ramp as well. Big spamming back. They've got three here on A. There's been no contact, no noise made elsewhere. And on a map where, like Vertigo, where audio is king, Big are pretty sure they know what's up. Yeah, you'll see that Tabson's already kind of like cheated his way over in three mid, playing Elevator. He's available to a very, very fast rotation into this A site as is Searson. So the moment NIP kind of show their hand, they're gonna have four players fighting against them on the other side. And Molotov's very well timed. It looks like Tabson and Tizzy are gearing up to go aggressive and that's a decision Ooh. they're gonna come to regret. They get taken down in an instant. And now Zintara is trying to pick up the pieces, helped out by Plopsky. The team damage just continues for NIP. Zataris finds one through the smoke, my goodness. Right, we're into this three on three. The bomb is now down. NIP, they've got a chance to find something here in a round where really they shouldn't have. Thanks to that aggression from Tabson and Tizian. Going on the TT tours of ramp. And now Plopsky holding this close angle. Keto creeping up with the AWP. First man in and he gets spotted, but there's Sierra dealing with Plopsky. Now just Nork and Hampus and these Deegs to try and see NIP through. They get the first. Tapping the bomb. It's Searson. He's sticking it. They're spamming. Oh, knife oh, out for dear. Nork. He's missed the stab. And oh, oh, they get the defuse. Nork falls and Searson with balls of steel just sticks it in the smoke. He was knifing to the left. And as soon as he's about to, you know, looking like he's about to turn right and hit the knife that's going to finish uh, Searson's life. But then he picks up the M4 and switches to it. And at that point, the defuse is already in. Five seconds with the kit. And remember, that was a five on three. That was big, ready for the A play, playing aggressive, playing close, which has netted them kills in the past. But against the pistols, they get overwhelmed by NIP strafing out wide on the ramp against that smoke. Big weren't ready for it, but they are going to win the round regardless. Antares with a deep A smoke will fight towards the ramp. You have to be wary of this, right? Uh, a T can take a fast spawn up as the smoke blooms and get up towards the scaffoldings. Antares isn't concerned, though. And great utility from Big. Just continuing to lay down damage before they've even seen their opponents. The spam as well did some to res prior to the grenade. So he's down to 37. NIP holding more of a standard default here, right? One outside of B, one top mid, three working that A ramp. But Big are running the exact same setup on this CT side. So Searson, not fearful of this T aggro ramp push. He's going to find one, finishing off the job that Zantaris starts. And NIP now grouping up with more and the bomb towards A. And once again, Big already have four players Ooh. here. They're even ready to throw this boost up with Zantares going up and over. And, oh. oh, he just saw them. He just saw them. Now hopping down. They know that that boost was there. They hear it. And so they know they're kind of lucky. But at the same time, like, you're not that lucky. You're walking into a four-stacked site. Tabson goes aggressive at ramp again. And this time, he's good for one before he gets dealt with. NIP, they're just, they're just stuck, man. Every time they try and push, there's a smoke, there's a nade, there's a molly, there's something delaying them, and they just keep getting challenged every single time. Nork falls, and Twist is thinking about saving. Yeah, I'm just surprised that we're not seeing NIP abuse that short position, right? Big's utility, not just in HE grenades and mollies, but smokes as well have been really good. They've just been cycling that close A-ramp smoke with, with one on short as well. But NIP are just strafing out ramp and fighting on the site. Big, they shouldn't be able to get away with playing site if NIP are coming up short at the same time, but that's just not the case. And so no splits towards A, just standard uh, heads up fights. And Big, with four on A in that round, are winning every single one. Even when they don't, that retake defuse in the round prior, they're in full control, Harry. They know exactly what they're doing. Agent Rez in the server as well. Ever Ooh. since that TK, he's 007. So he really is the spy behind enemy lines, man. He's turning on his own team now as well. I think that's Twist more so. Yeah, he's the one getting team kills. They both managed it, man. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, threat you can see on the left side having a talk with NIP. They are boot camping at least, right? We got well, that in there. Well, what do you reckon he's saying at this point, man? Because this is not the scoreline you were hoping for, you know? I, 
I, I think I'm inclined to agree with you, Hugo, in that it feels like, you know, you, you keep playing into Big's hand the moment you just kind of meander up through this uh, this top ramp smoke. Even if, like, it, it just feels like even if you were throwing those standard set smokes into the A bomb site to yeah. cut off those CT and boost sight lines, suddenly you make that whole defense a little bit more tricky for Big. I know they're trying to beat that by playing close to ramp, right, and being ahead of where those smokes would fall. But, uh... You know, I, I, as we've seen, like Tabson being close at ramp can prove to be a liability. Yeah, one of the two bomb plants NIP have had on A is is the eco where they go for those exact smokes that you're talking about, Harry. Nice little boost, Plopski, hard shot to hit, especially with the Galil takes the head off of Keto. Tizian's gonna get aggressive on A and find a trade. The bomb is still dropped outside of the A site, so who knows where this one's ending up. Hampus is getting more trades and drawing rotations. I think NIP still want that A site, though. They're gonna be holding for the aggressive push. Santaris gives it to them, but he also takes it away. Rez continues to fall short of finding a kill on his enemies. Hampus, oh dear goes back in for a second try and it goes as bad as the first twist now in a one on three blink and you miss it this round is all in favor of big and if he doesn't play this corner he's going to have a rough time nice kill but considering that's at the bottom of a big have ample time to rotate into the site Yeah, and Twist trying to slow down, hoping that someone faces him. has just given even more time for this rotation to come in. Twist does deal with the first. This would be a one-on-three for Twist, and he's going to try and deal with Searson, but he's not quite able to get that one over the line. It's 8-0 and for Big, still flawless on this CT side. I will say as well, like Vertigo, it feels very, very uh, fickle. The moment this CT money gets built up and you have players like Searson able to don that AWP, uh, and you know, with like, with no kind of problem in that regard, it does get a little bit scary. So at least in that round there, NIP do a lot of damage. They bring big back down to kind of level pegging in terms of the money, and they bring the AWP out on their own accord on the NIP side. So, you know, if there ever was a round, I feel like this could be it. Like if you want to try and get back into the swing of things, you do it here and now. It's like oh, no. Tizian with the ramp aggression. All right, only gets one, but it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of information. And also NIP, they tried to change the pace up in that round for the first time yet. They run through that smoke, they barrel up ramp, and the moment they do, they're met with harsh resistance. Keto's gone aggressive in through B. Big have all the information at this point in time. Twist is holding for this flank, but Keto doesn't look like he's gonna budge much more than this. Yeah, Rez smartly moves back after he takes damage as well, so he avoids the grenade that would have ended his live. Keto trading, sees the AWP as well, and NIP turning back round to B. No one's there just yet. Tabson is sneaking through. Again, you can't hear the fast footsteps from mid, so he knows they're not running up towards B, at least just yet. And NIP, you can see how wary they are of aggressive CT players. I don't blame them. Big have been all over the place. Every flank available, Searson and Keto have been taking them on these B pushes. Still got Hampus waiting around A. He's got full util. He can sell a bit of a fake here if they want and send the other two into B. There's going to be a plant available, assuming Tabson doesn't completely mow them down. Here are the grenades. Big with two still sat on A. Searson's looking for information, though, and if he gets this kill, he will be able to call for that B rotation. It's looking pretty clear. Hampus is past him. That could be misinformation. Santaris is patient, but Hampus is going to get the kill, and now the B play comes through. Oh, this Molly could end Rez's whole oh, career. Dear. Oh, oh, no, he burns. He burns. And now it's just Nork with the AWP. A 1v2. It's not impossible. And he's looking for this kill onto Tabson, playing around the oh, smoke. No. But Tabson's already gone wide, and he'll lock it in. Nine for big, zero for NIP. And a very, very rough start for the Swedes. Big are looking so damn confident right now. You could just, I mean, it must feel rough, man. It must feel real yeah. rough. Like... This is not this is not what you wanted by any stretch of the imagination. Even in these rounds where like you're getting it close and you're getting some kills that maybe should lead to a bit more than they are, they're just not able to find anything. Double orb is back for big as well, most importantly. We've been seeing that on Keto when he solo anchors the B bomb site. So NIP, they want nothing to do with B in this time. They're gonna run back up A. I like the pace. Again, Vertigo is so commonly gonna see these A plays, but there is a reason for that, even if NIP aren't showing us. Even if they are unsuccessful, it's more Big's doing than theirs. Uh, Resmoke back in, Tizian playing close. It doesn't pop in time, so he, he is going to get overwhelmed. And Torres, nice transfer to two. Tabson swings out with a flashbang. Searson setting him up from the CT spawn. And uh, now it's all on twist. Again, like 
it's all I've been talking about, but this utility from Big. Everything they're throwing has purpose. Everything they're throwing has intent. And they're finding so much value from the flashes as well. 10-0. Boy, oh boy. When I spoke to CSN last week, he was talking about the nade, the utility usage. And actually, for him, we all know he's amazing with a scout, but he actually feels quite vulnerable when it comes to the nade usage. He feels like it's something he really needs to work on. It doesn't seem like he's having any problems today. Yeah, it's working out. He, every flash assist, it's Searson's name in the kill feed. So, you know, you're going to take that if you're big every day of the week. Mid hasn't really been a focal point of this T side either for NIP. So, Searson's very free to just throw utility from mid over that CT spawn. Ooh, Zantares, that is a cheesy angle. And he's going to get oh. so much damage. The flash is good, but he just holds Mouse 1 and takes down Rez. 0 oh, and 11. Poor guy. And it gets worse by the second. Right then, so let's start. Let's start thinking about map two. I think. Oh. <laughs> Nuke obviously coming up after this one. NIP, they just they can't seem to catch a break. This is brutal. And what a recovery from Big Right losing to Sprout on day one had us a little bit worried. But then you know Sprout, they they said that they expected that. Fabin did in an interview with HLTV said that you know in those domestic matchups things often get a little bit little bit tricky, a little bit uh, goofy. And he said he thought they were going to take it over them. I like this boost. It's really good. Not only can you get a headshot angle, but you can jump up as Plopsky's done. Unfortunately, there's no one on the site. Bigger running double orb, holding passive from spawn. Oh, trying to sneak across. It's Plopsky. Now the smoke blooms. I would have given them that little veil of security they were looking for. Hampus. Oh, no, oh, not, not again. another molly kill. Not another molly kill. Oh, not oh, again. I see this and burns him out. Man, this is brutal. Nork's going to get the leg. But that's about it for him and crossing into the... Oh, it's Searson getting dropped. All right, Nork. One, he needs the ace in a 1v5, though, to keep the dream alive. NIP getting their first round. The odds very much stacked against him. Big, they don't want to overplay their hand, but there it is. Zantares taking the peek in. I actually, no, to be fair, I say they don't want to overplay their hand. I love the way they deal with that, right? You don't even give them the spacing. Don't even give yeah. them the respect to play a 1v5 out. They just rush him down the moment he taps that bomb. Tack timeout for an IP, but I don't really know. And it's triple orp, by the way, for the side of big. They, they picked up the one from Nork's body, so they're running. The old three cannon buy. Yeah, we've seen more examples of that that you're talking about, Harry, with not giving the space in that two on one where Twist was coming up the A ramp and um, bigger in elevator. They just double swing him. Searson wins it with the USP, trades his teammate out. Like, obviously, it's risky, but yeah, bigger feeling confident. Why not? And I'm seeing a lot of value as to why big aren't playing inside of B with man advantages. They go, oh, you want the site? You want a plant? Go ahead. We'll just molly default. And in both instances of that happening, it's been the low HP player. As it often is, it makes sense to have your low player plant, but Big's utility is just counteracting that every single time. Yeah, it's also great as well, because like the moment you don't see anyone in the site, you know that they are going to be playing these passive positions. So you've got to use any utility you were hoping to save in the post plant just to get you in. But it's a fast mid rush this time from NIP, a real change of pace, not something that Big have encountered yet. Tabs are dropping the molly, they run through it. Keto trying to stay alive, Ooh. but he does get bested. Now the rotations come in and Twist realizes he is in a bad spot, gets taken out bomb drop not in a retrievable spot for hampus but he has been able to get his hands on an awp now look at that that's a terrifying sight three players all just pouring in first shot lands oh and the deeg follow-up hampus in with a chance and he's gonna nail it searson hits the deck and nip first round on the board Oh, it took a little bit to get them there. And it's a lot of excitement for just one round. Is that going to make all the difference here? And that's what we're talking about just a minute ago, Harry, when we say, obviously, you know, playing aggressive like that for Big is has a risk. It has a risk, right? They have the bomb down at Jens. Like you said, Hampus can't get it. Big are giving him all the fights. And that's exactly what Hampus wants. In every, uh, uh, every time Big have done that, it's worked out. But finally getting punished, I wonder if that's going to change things moving forward. Uh, worth noting as well, the money is not in the best of spots. Obviously, bigger buying at 11 1. No surprise there, but we're not going to have that double orb available uh, unless a player start to take a hit when it comes to that Kevlar. Unlikely to see so with this utility usage being a focal point of big CT side. Searson, he's got 48. He could just go for the glass cannon. I'd be all for it. 15 and 4. He's looking good. And yeah, Hampus on the orb, man. When, when we saw uh, NIP on that opening day, he had that second orb over Twist, who was at one point primary orb, but now looking like the fourth orb inside of the team. 
Um, and Hampus looked really, really good on Inferno uh, on that B bomb site with it, constantly playing solo B, letting his team quad stack, a, uh, quad stack A. So we know he can have these moments with the AWP, and he's just shown us. Someone needs to like help Rez, man. He's really traumatized by that team kill in round two. He hasn't been able to get a kill since. So hopefully that changes. Because right now NIP are playing this out four on five, it feels like. They try and get players up through ramp early on, but once again, this utility keeps them away. Tabson's been boosted up over here in middle, and that's going to free up Searson on this AWP to be a bit more mobile and go and help out at the A bomb site. Hampus has gotten very, very deep. I like this. He's gotten ahead of the utility, and he even spots that AWP in rotation. Now they know he's here. He falls on out and actually concedes all that ground that he gains. But I like that decision, you know? Like, you don't get the kill from it. You get away with some damage. You know you forced to rotate at the very, very least. And you don't just offer yourself up as a free, you know, 1v3 here at the B site. So rejoining the rest of his team now. And this bomb still dropped passively all the way back down towards ramp. There's still a chance that NIP switch this up. They will retrieve it and start to tiptoe Plopsky over into this A side of the map. So it's looking like the commitment here. Just relentless grenades from Big, constantly remolling and smoking short. It's why NIP have never been able to get up in this spot. Flashing, Tizian's gonna mow down too. He does get blinded and traded, but he's uh, done his job. Popsky doubling up and flashback in. Tabs and sets Antares up for success. He was never spotted on short after Hampus' aggressive push, getting caught by Searson's AWP. Twist is on a big mid lurk though. He's come in at the right place at the right time. Searson's found Keto trades and it's on Nork in a two on one. Antares just taking the attention as Keto fires off from the CT spawn. NIP just can't catch a break. Room therein looks nice though, doesn't it? <laughs> nice little computers up on the, uh, the wall. You're trying to find some positives, are you, Harry? Yeah, well, you know, it's like at least NIP are being taken care of. Um, they might, they might already be thinking about Nuke at this point in time, man. This is incredibly dominant from Big. And and something else that's so wild to me is that was a low investment. You know, like they put everything into it, but they didn't have a lot of money on the big side. And yet still, as you said, that utility just felt relentless and they didn't even have much to play around. So it's even scarier now in this round when they've got everything they could possibly need. Oh, there's a little boost being employed. Keto holding for it, but the traffic, oh. cone, the traffic cones obscured it. Oh dear, that's a kill for Plopsky and he's going to keep the momentum up, keep the pace in his favor. The nade combination though in this swing with Tabson leads to his demise. This B site oh, has Molly. fallen though. Molotov going to rain on in. Surely no kills from it today. It's actually, it's missed slightly. Goes a little deeper than perhaps they were hoping for. Bomb planted for NIP and a chance in a three on four. Yeah, you can see Tabson jumping to try and find the angle, but the smoke eluded it. The smoke that he threw, so he threw it on the, the molly on the wrong side of the box and it bounced to the left. Doesn't matter, the plant's in, the retake's happening, and Searson is on this flank as he has been in the past. It's a heavy setup from behind. Our NIP ready for it. They trade one, now they spot another. They're still scared of the CT spawn. More grenades from Big, it's an artillery barrage. Hampus in the clutch, he's seen them both. He's fully blinded, pivoting behind the site. Tizian needs to go now, and Hampus is going to win another clutch for NIP. It's the only rounds they have. <laughs> Threat giving him the props. Another 3k from Hampus, another B-site hold, and it's going to be NIP salvaging something near the end of this half. Fresh is happy, man. He's like, this is why we bought Hampus in. Well, this isn't actually why we bought Hampus in, but hell yeah, you know, I'll take it. He's, he's delivering in these clutches. It does worry me somewhat, right? That like it feels like Hampus is having to do a lot of the heavy lifting right now. You need to see a bit more from guys like Nork, from guys like Plopsky, someone that we always uh, yeah, well, you know, Rez is the obvious choice there <laughs> as well. Aggression from Zantares here in this uh this force buy at round 15 from Big. My goodness, that is brutal. Plopsky and Rez both tagged up. Rez down at ramp over here on A. Popsky at the stairs on B, but Tabson gets caught with a nade out. Betrayed by trying to get that nade in to find Plopsky into this four on four. Searson does have the scout and he's pretty, pretty darn scary with it. So don't count him out just yet, especially with Zantares playing close. If Searson gets a tag, Zantares can swing on out and do the damage. It's going to be like a little bait and switch, you know? If you're not a big Vertigo th fan, think about like overpass long, right? With like how an AWP can play back in the site and then you have a player tucked close to, uh, to swing on out and do the damage once the attention's been taken away. NIP, 
they're not content. They're, they're not looking for a ramp, rather. They want to go for this B play once again. They've had success here. The issue is with this is even if Sirson backs up, but Santaris knows that no one's pushing up A. Quito, nice discipline, goes back in, but it does get caught doing some damage to Rez on four, finding his first kill, going positive for now. Tizian. He's managed to creep his way out behind the gens. The molly's going to land behind him. He gets flashed in for aggressive, but nothing found. And even the flank locked down. It's Searson in a one on three for the last round of the half. NIP might finally be salvaging a three round half. It's better than nothing, but let's see if Searson can put a stop to it. Oh. Yeah, scout. And yeah, bigger in full control of this map. A couple of nice clutches from Hampus and NIP win the last round of the half. Maybe that can motivate them moving forward. Got the kit on twist. We've got some grenades on Tizian. Big are walking out mid and there's no one here to stop them. Hampus has just peeled away to play from the scaffolding, but that's fine. Holding off for the time being. This utility is here in middle. There's gonna be a boost as well, but Hampus will be able to spot this and fall off appropriately. Where did Big go from here? They've got Santaros below B, so that seems to be the game plan. There's the double peak from the boost, and now they get out into middle. This is where we look towards Plopski to try and do some damage, and they're already up and past it. Twist back in the site behind the pillar. Does get dealt with now. Bomb looking to get in. Plopski still holding on here at nice. ramp and actually going to make a good case of it. Does deal with another. Has to try and get the reload <laughs> off and that there is always a problem with the CZ. He's assembling it but couldn't follow, follow the instructions. Tizian. Out with Keto. 1v3 now turn 1v2 and there's the follow up. Just res left and Keto's hungry for it. Looking for the kill. Res falling back giving him the respect. Taps the bomb, tries to bait the peak, and Rez is going to start to take a peek on in. Keto. Ooh, okay. Oh, is he playing a long game here? He's going around the world, jet set, and trying to win this 1v1. Keto with the sneak. Rez hasn't seen anything yet. He hasn't heard anything that would give this up. And no. Keto, are you going to go up the ladder into mid and try and wrap around? You're very low on time. This is ballsy from Keto. Surely at this point, he's playing for the kill and nothing else, right? You've got to start running at some point, and that's it for Keto. He comes barreling up through mid. Rez has heard it. Uh, oh, dear. It was, you know, like, it was a cool idea, but time, obviously, proven to be the problem there. Yeah, I guess he's just gambling that Rez has rotated A, considering he's fallen off. But, like, it's it's not like Rez knew that Keto had even crossed out of B, right? Last Rez saw of him, he, he heard the bomb tap on the site. He never saw Keto go back towards the stairs or, or drop below B. So, yeah, you know, unfortunate for Keto. He realizes that either he commits to B or he has to run up A ramp. And, you know, regardless of Rez's position, he's going to hear that right from CT spawn. So, yeah, nice try from Keto. He gets two out of three, but uh, that's going to be NIP's lifeline. And if, if anything, I'm kind of down with that. I wanted a more competitive game. As fun as it is watching big, you know, Dominate. Oh, uh, uh -oh. Ooh, it's absent. He's seen it. He oh, knows. No. He's on the head of his teammate, oh. and he's taken the head off his enemy. Hampus is gone. Ooh. Searson through the smoke with the scout, and it's getting it's messy here for Big up on the A ramp. Four on three. NIP have got to move a player over, but it's not like Big are rushing just yet. This is a horrible spot to be in. Nork's going to try and take a peek down three ramp, and this is either going to make or break the round. It feels like Searson peeking up, gets the information. Now they try and capitalize by dealing with him. Plopski is here close, and so they do have fallback plans in place, uh -oh. but Tabson, my goodness, these Germans and their deagles, it's something special indeed. Nork up through short, has dealt with Tabson, but still finds himself locked in. Oh, yes. big, they are running away. Ha ha ha, we have plenty of time this time around. Nork looking for a kill through the smoke that just won't present itself. Keto gets into B. Tizian was trying to shut down this wrap, trying to cut down the rotation before it even arrives. Nork, though, aware that Tizian is still waiting around. Now just has one left to deal with. It's easier said than done, however. Has no idea where Keto is, and he's going to find the kill. It's 13 for Big as the four spy goes their way. I love that. The immediate call, just they, they spot him on short. It's a great position, don't get me wrong, but the second he gets that kill into Tabson, Big just run right towards B. Keto plays it perfectly, getting, getting aggressive at the post plant and, you know, just cutting off the rotate. Nothing that he can do about it. It's going to be big up to 13, winning a force by in the second round of the half. No bomb plant, no need. 
They'll get it done with the Deegs. And now NIP are holding some of their own, but that's not where they want to be at this scoreline. Popsky holding on to this stairwell. Flash, or Molly rather, actually going out towards the stairs, cutting off aggressive CT players. Not that there are any. Popsky spots them, and he falls off a little bit. The bomb has yet to be seen, and so NIP don't want to throw bodies at the problem just yet. Very methodical utility from Big as well, clearing out every possible close position where these pistols are dangerous. That's the third Molotov into this B-bomb site. Penny should start to drop for NIP. They need to move someone over. Yeah, Popsky back behind the pillar. Flashed off the angle, trying to make this deeg work for him and does deal with Keto. Looking for a follow-up. Popsky, another before he's dealt with. So Tara's wrapping in through mid, lays him to rest. And now for the remaining three for NIP, they rotate in. Three on three in the retake. Scout on Nork, flashes for Hampus. Ooh, dear. Oh dear, Tabson trying to take a fight. He might, oh, Zataris, come on, don't. I was gonna say, that That scared me a bit. <laughs> Believing in himself more than he believes in Tabson. He takes up this angle, retrieves that smoke and just completely blocks off any avenue to get in for NIP. He does lose Searson, so it falls onto Zantares. First man down. Oh, but not quite the follow-up. Rez is going to keep this in the pocket of NIP. Defuse comes on through, and it's five on the board now for the Swedes as they respond with a bit of a force buy of their own. We usually see uh, common A takes on this map with the smokes landing on, on both sides of the bomb site to cut off a CT and elevator. Well, Big just did essentially the same thing, but on B, they smoke either side of the gen, set smoke from the bottom of stairs, and completely cut NIP out of the round. You can see Rez does manage to jump up on the side to get a view over it. But I like the idea there for Big. I like the execute as, uh, you know, the new NIP weren't close. They cut them off with the smokes, and anyone in the site is just going to get overwhelmed by the, uh, the T's pushing them down. Big force right back in. They know how close that round came, and the NIP are yet to build an economy. And with such a round lead, you may as well capitalize on that, especially when you got Searson, who is just isn't missing a shot on this A ramp. Another smoke headshot, as he just did before. The spray in mid is a miss. Twist dead to Tizian, and now five on three for Big. They're just going to continue to push. Tabson caught on a jump, and so Hampus keeps things e uh, not even, but under wraps for now. As big fall away from middle, they can just group up and hit a site, and A seems to be that decision in mind. Right, Rez, he had a very, very quiet first half. Here now at short, he is the man who has to make all the difference, all the pressure on him. Because if this round eludes NIP, they're back on with a force. So Tarez and the rest of the gang, they've creeped up and passed him, but Rez, he might have just caught a perfect timing. Here's the utility. Down goes Searson. Follow up for nice. Rez, and all three in his pocket. Tizian now. All alone, losing his teammates, trying to get this trade, and Rez has just fallen back, taking a bit more of a passive lie. Tizian will spot him. But a 1v2 still required. Odds stacked against him now as he moves up through ramp. Well, he's going to go high to try and clear out short side. Plopski on rotation. First kill for Tizian, and now down to the 1v1. Moving in, it's Plopski trying to deny this bomb plot, but Tizian's oh. going to hold his ground. It's 14 for Big, 1 HP left for Tizian, and 4 in the round. That Molotov is so smart as well. It forces the short player out into the open. It means if anyone's hiding on A, waiting for that bomb plant, they have to fight. They have to go out wide, and Tizian's able to take him down before the bomb plant comes in, cleaning up Plopski, aggressive as well. That's just a masterfully, uh, masterfully played round from Tizian. Big, this is looking like such a great map for them. I can't wait to continue watching them play it throughout this tournament. Uh, again, that's assuming they win this series, but right now they are on the track to take NIP's map pick away from them. 14 to five, Twist getting spammed. Searson, a taste of his own medicine perhaps as Nork fires back with the scout. I would not want to be taking this fight if I'm NIP considering the consistency the big have won this duel. And Dwarves oh, and he's going back for more with the big green. Not going to collect any scalps just yet. 
NIP concede the position. They go back into the site. Hampus is going to be playing on the sandbags, and this boost is good as well. Rez, he can duck and wait for the time to strike. He doesn't have to hold this the entire time. And so once Hampus draws in their attention, it can be Rez's prerogative to peak. One thing I'm not loving here, right, is you think about Big's utility. It's been perfect. I feel like there's no way they don't not check the sandbags here. And Hampus has all the utility for NIP. Ooh. That could prove to... Oh, oh no, okay. Tizian! Sure. Just pre-firing the boost. There's the follow-up on Therese. Hampus, it really is all on him. But on the upside, they found two kills in A. They're not even thinking about the sandbags. Ooh. No one's looking at it. So Hampus, this round could be in his hands. Oh, oh, first no. kill on Atizian. Looking for the follow-up, but that nade will seal his fate. And that's all the utility gone. Plopsky in with one more. But is that going to be enough? As now that bomb gets tapped, tries to bait these peaks. Nothing comes through just yet. Popsky here, Deagle in hand. Tabson still inside of the site, just looking to win a fight straight up. Doesn't present itself just yet. Popsky now in the 1v3. My goodness, he's lost everyone. And, oh, he shrunk himself down. He's trying to hide. But hiding is not the way to steal this round off of Big. They just double face him. They just swing into the fight. And Big, they reach map point. It's just so methodical, man. Once that spam comes through onto the boosting player, Zantares just holds because he knows off of that kill, there's going to be another guy coming short side or going back to the site. He kills him immediately. And for Hampus, right, you can you can easily look at that and go, well, why did why did he just try and spam the back? Why did he only try and take one kill? He doesn't know the big aren't considering him. It's common for a player to walk up, but more to wait and watch the sandbags. In this instance, no one was, but that's not uh, that's not information Hampus has, and so he tries his best. But you know, as soon as you don't get the one league on the first player, you're already burning your ammo and giving away your position, wasting valuable time. Uh, just add it add it to the tally. Another one for Searson. Almost feels expected at this point for him to get a kill above this smoke on the A site. A big 15 to 5 on NIP's map pick. Four kills away from sending us forward to nuke. And with how it's looking, we might get there here and now. Five on three for Big, only up against Pistols to begin with. This should have been their round, and they look to make it that exactly. Zatares lining up this short Molotov. That's not going to force Nork into a fight, but it does get him off the angle. I would be so paranoid standing here because yeah. these spams have been so good from Big. Luckily enough, Nork is going to remain unchecked for now. Smoke goes down. That's actually thrown by NIP for Nork to try and play behind. All three players here for NIP, but no damage being done. In fact, it's all coming in the other way. And Big, they've locked down the A site. It's all on res, and Keto hounding him down gets the kill. <laughs>